Like, so my question to you, John, is when do y'all start a music? Aren't y'all supposed to like start on a recital song and, you know, just work a little bit on that each week? And um, my thing was no. Uh, I thought that these these fundamentals that I was going over with them repeatedly, um, I believe that's more important. These kids also haven't had their first recital um, yet, so there's not really even a recital for them to prepare for again, prepare for, uh, and so Ms. Taylor gives me the word. If I was taught what I was teaching these kids now, when I was first learning to play guitar, I feel like I'd be way further ahead, way okay. further ahead. Um, now, you know, I was provided with a lot of experience on the fretboard, but as far as my terminology, I was clueless very ignorant and I wasn't just because I wasn't taught that you know so this is putting them on the right foot forward okay all right thank you for that explanation oh, <laughs> you know let's, let's count let's count so it goes well I guess yeah count letters um, but let's take it right from the top let's take it right from the top so just playing that just playing that low E string E E is opening, you know, yeah, and then that first fret is F. Because remember the rule, right? So not only does the alphabet only go from A to G, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over. But it also, um, in between each letter are accidentals, right? Remember the, the sharps and the flats? Yes. Um, so, there are, accidentals, there are accidentals between each letter except for two, and that's from E to F and B to C. It just goes straight from E to F and straight from B to C. There's no accidentals between those two letters. But every other letter has some. So, you know, so like counting, open E, F, F sharp. Oh wait, and that was, that was an example right there. E straight to F. You know what I'm saying? There's no sharp, no nothing. Right? But the F has F sharp. Then the G. G sharp. And then the A. And then A sharp. And then B. But what what would come after B if we're following that one rule? Ah, uh, C. Nice. So yeah, straight up C. And then what will come after C? Ah, uh, C sharp. Nice. And then what comes after C sharp? It's easy. It's what it's yeah. It's what you think it would be. D. Uh huh. And then after D is what? Uh. E sharp. Yes, ma'am. And then after D sharp is what? Uh, e. Uh huh. And then what's after E? A. No. Remember how we started? We went E straight to... G? E? Uh-uh. What, what comes next after E in the alphabet? Oh, L. <laughs> yeah. So, for, um, yeah, so for those, remember it goes, every, every other one has the accidental, except for E to F and B to C. So, it'll just, so... Just like how the B went straight to C, so the E, the E would go straight to F. Um, yeah, and then after the F is the F sharp, and then F sharp to G, and then G sharp, and then it starts over from the A. Um, and I'll have you count it out loud, and then um, if you like count it wrong, I'll be like, nah, that's, 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 that's another letter. Alright, so find me an a.
Accidentals. If I said find me an A sharp, what would that be? Uh, 